Nikon has some thrilling new mirrorless cameras in the works for their Z series lineup. These upcoming models are rumored to deliver major advancements in areas like shooting speed, resolution, video performance, and more. This video will dive into all the leaked specifications and rumored details about Nikon's forthcoming cameras. From purported blazing fast burst rates to cutting-edge autofocus capabilities, these new Nikon cameras seem poised to push the limits of what's achievable with mirrorless technology. Stick around as we unpack all the leaked info and discuss the features we're most excited about in Nikon's upcoming Z series releases. If you're a Nikon shooter, this camera predictions video is not to be missed. While official information is still under tight wraps, early rumors suggest that Nikon is developing the Z9H mirrorless camera with a proprietary global shutter sensor technology, aiming to match Sony's latest innovation in this area. This global shutter design could provide a significant advantage for the Z9H in capturing distortion-free images of subjects exhibiting rapid motion. Unlike traditional electronic shutters that progressively scan the sensor, the global shutter captures the entire frame simultaneously. This eliminates the potential for distortion that can occur with fast-moving subjects when using a rolling shutter. Sony's recent A9 III has demonstrated the benefits of global shutter technology in achieving truer fidelity when photographing intense action. By incorporating a global shutter, the Z9H would allow Nikon to compete directly with Sony's offering in this regard. Beyond distortion-free capture of fast action, a global shutter also enables full flash sync at any shutter speed, opening up new creative possibilities for lighting fleeting moments of high-speed motion that were previously impossible. While the A93 facilitated flash sync up to 1, 400 sec with its electronic shutter, rumors suggest the Z9H could match or even exceed this capability. To facilitate the rapid data readout required by global shutter technology, the Z9H is rumored to have a lower resolution of around 20-24 MP, compared to the 45 MP of the standard Z9. However, Nikon may follow Sony's lead by including a high-resolution composite mode to output massive 240 MP images when maximum resolution is required, rather than prioritizing outright speed. Rumors further suggest that the Z9H could push the boundaries of speed even further, potentially reaching an awe-inspiring 120 frames per second burst rate with full autofocus and auto-exposure functionality. This would significantly surpass the already impressive 30 frames per second continuous shooting capability of the current Z9 flagship. Such blistering speeds could redefine what's possible in capturing dramatic moments of action and motion. If these rumors prove accurate, the Z9H seems squarely targeted at professional sports and action photographers who need to capture visually explosive moments of athleticism unfolding at a blink and you'll miss it pace. For Nikon, the Z9H could represent a new performance apex and an opportunity to reassert themselves at the cutting edge of professional sports and action photography. While facing stiff competition from Sony's acclaimed stacked CMOS sensor technology, the integration of global shutter shows that Nikon still has innovative tricks up its sleeve. Sony may have struck first with the Rapid Fire A9 III, but Nikon appears ready to aggressively counter with the high-performance Z9H. At the heart of the Z90 is rumored to be a newly developed 33MP APS-C image sensor, representing a significant upgrade from the 21MP sensor found in the D500. This higher resolution sensor promises improved image quality through greater resolving power, enhanced dynamic range, and better low-light performance. Additionally, it will enable oversampled 4K video recording for exceptional detail and clarity. Speed is expected to be another major strength of the Z90, with a blazing fast 15 frames per second continuous shooting rate while maintaining full autofocus and auto-exposure functionality. This will empower photographers to reliably capture critical moments of fast action and motion. Complementing the speed, the Z90 is also rumored to feature fast sensor readout speeds that will facilitate fluid 1080p slow motion recording at 120 frames per second, perfect for dramatizing movements. Nikon has purportedly upgraded the autofocus system as well, equipping the Z90 with enhanced eye, face, body detection, and subject tracking capabilities. 
combined with a 5-axis in-body image stabilization system that provides up to 6 stops of compensation, photographers can expect excellent sharpness when shooting handheld or in low-light conditions. Despite its impressive capabilities, the Z90 is rumored to maintain a portable form factor similar to the Z50, with a rugged weather-sealed body striking an optimal balance between durability and portability. An excellent native ISO range of 100 to 51,200 is also expected, bringing immense flexibility for low-light shooting scenarios. In terms of lenses, the Z90 will be compatible with Nikon's vast arsenal of F-mount Nikka lenses via the FTZ adapter, offering tremendous creative freedom. Additionally, Nikon is expected to announce native DX Z-mount APS-C lenses to complement the camera's APS-C sensor size, ensuring image quality remains uncompromised whether shooting sweeping landscapes or intimate portraits. Operationally, the Z90 is rumored to offer an intuitive interface with robust physical controls, including a bright 3.2-inch bariangle touchscreen LCD. Built-in Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connectivity will facilitate seamless wireless image sharing and remote control capabilities. Dual card slots supporting both XQD and SD media formats are also expected. Positioned between the entry-level Z50 and Nikon's full-frame Z-mount cameras, the Z90 seems targeted at photo and video enthusiasts seeking professional-level performance without the higher price tag associated with full-frame systems. If the rumored specifications materialize, the Z90 could disrupt the high-end APS-C mirrorless segment. In terms of release timeline, rumors suggest the Z90 will be announced sometime before August 2024, fitting within a typical 3-4 to four year upgrade cycle from the Nikon D500's launch in early 2016. While the ongoing global chip shortage could potentially cause delays, early 2024, specifically the second quarter, looks like a realistic timeframe for availability based on Nikon's previous mirrorless camera releases. For enthusiasts invested in the Nikon system, the Z90 represents an exciting milestone, offering stellar imaging and video capabilities in a lightweight package that strikes a desirable balance between portability and performance. As Nikon's answer to rivals like the Canon EOS R7 and Fujifilm X-H2, expectations are high for the Z90 to push boundaries in APS-C mirrorless performance. The original Nikon Z50, launched in fall 2019, faced some criticism not due to its capabilities, but because of the initially limited availability of affordable, compact lenses for the Z-mount APS-C system. Nikon addressed this concern just three months later by releasing the lightweight and affordable Nikka Z-DX 16-50mm f 3.5-6.3 VR kit zoom and the compact DX 24mm f 1.8 prime lens, providing more native options alongside adapted F-mount lenses. While the Z50 proved to be a capable camera, Nikon continued improving it through firmware updates based on user feedback, enhancing autofocus performance, buffer capacity and more to keep it competitive in the mirrorless market. Now, rumors point to Nikon developing a successor, the Z50 Mark II, with major improvements and upgrades. Early hints suggest it will feature an all-new advanced autofocus system with improved subject tracking and eye-face detection capabilities. The 4K video recording is also rumored to see enhancements like higher bitrates and better internal image stabilization. Other potential upgrades for the Z50 Mark II include a variangle articulating touchscreen LCD, dual UHS ISD card slots, built-in Bluetooth, Wi-Fi wireless connectivity, and improved battery life. These additions would make it a more capable hybrid camera, appealing to both photographers and videographers, content creators. While still speculative, a Z50 Mark II refresh seems likely as Nikon looks to keep their APS-C mirrorless lineup competitive after four years since the original model's debut. The significance of cameras like the retro-styled ZFC, which shared the same core specs as the Z50, remains unclear. Many Nikon mirrorless users hope the Z50 Mark II can deliver further improvements like an AF joystick, in-body image stabilization, dual card slots, enhanced video features, and longer battery life based on common requests online. However, some feel Nikon should prioritize releasing more affordable, high-quality DX Z-mount lenses to pair with their APS-C bodies. Overall, the rumored Z50 Mark II has high expectations to meet as the successor to Nikon's groundbreaking APS-C mirrorless camera.
With four years of technological progress since the original, Nikon has the opportunity to deliver a well-rounded upgrade catering to both photographers and videographers in this increasingly competitive category. The rumored specs suggest the Z63 is squarely aimed at creators who need robust still photography and videography capabilities in one body. The headlining feature is a new 33MP image sensor developed by Nikon, putting its resolution on par with rivals like the Sony A7 IV. This signals Nikon's commitment to compete head-to-head -head on image quality. Paired with the powerful Xpeed 7 processor, the Z63 should offer outstanding high ISO noise reduction and fast readout speeds to minimize rolling shutter distortion when shooting video. Video capabilities are a major focus, with rumored uncropped 4K recording up to 60 frames per second for detailed footage with smooth motion. If the 8K 30 frames per second rumor proves true, it would push video performance even further beyond current competitors. Slow motion specs could be class leading as well, with 1080p capture potentially reaching up to 120 or even 180 frames per second for gorgeous 5x slow motion. The video feature set may extend to 10-bit internal recording, N-Log Gamma, HLG HDR, and potentially ProRes RAW support, showing Nikon aims to attract serious hybrid content creators who need top-tier video functions alongside high-end imaging capabilities. For autofocus, the Z63 is rumored to adopt the powerful subject detection and tracking from the flagship Z9, enabling reliable eye, animal, and vehicle AF for both stills and video. Other rumored improvements include a fully articulating rear LCD touchscreen, dual UHS IISD card slots, weather sealing, 5-axis in-body image stabilization, and ergonomic refinements, positioning it as a rugged, highly capable multimedia workhorse camera. Within Nikon's carefully tiered Z-mount lineup, the Z6 series occupies the advanced enthusiast semi-pro category between the entry-level Z5 and high-resolution Z7 series aimed at professionals. However, with such impressive rumored all-around photo, video capabilities, the Z6 III could potentially elevate beyond just being a standard refresh into becoming Nikon's premier hybrid camera specifically targeting multimedia image makers needing outstanding performance in both stills and motion. Nikon seems intent on going head-to-head -head against rivals like the Canon EOS R6, Mark II, and Sony A7 IV. But by potentially leapfrogging even those models, particularly for video features, the Z6 III may carve out a unique position as Nikon's flagship hybrid offering. With rumored pricing between $2,000 to $2,500, Nikon hits an attractive sweet spot for such robust all-around specs, while still leaving room above for pricier Z7 series cameras focused purely on pro-level photography. This calculated pricing matches the market segment Nikon aims the Z6 III to own advanced amateurs, enthusiasts, and semi-pros seeking a highly versatile photo, video powerhouse. So while official details are still under wraps, early rumors point to the Nikon Z6 III potentially becoming the company's new flagship hybrid camera, focused on delivering top-tier performance for both stills and video to satisfy today's professional multimedia image makers. The Z7 III is rumored to feature a newly developed 61.2-megapixel backside illuminated CMOS sensor, a significant resolution increase over the 45.7MP sensor in the Z7 II. This positions it squarely against high-resolution rivals like the 61MP Sony A7RV. The jump to over 60MP should provide even more stunning detail and allow for extremely large prints, while aiming to maintain excellent dynamic range. However, the very high pixel density could impact buffer capacity and maximum burst rate. Thanks to dual Xpeed 7 image processors, the Z73's maximum burst rate is rumored to reach 12 to 15 frames per second. While well short of the Z9's 30 frames per second capabilities, this still represents a solid improvement over the Z7's 10 frames per second maximum with continuous AF. So the Z73 should perform better for capturing moderate action though wildlife and sports shooters will likely still prefer the Z9 or rumored Z8. Like previous models, the Z7 III will capture oversampled 4K video from the full sensor width for maximum sharpness. 
but rumors indicate it will add the ability to shoot 4K up to 60 frames per second with a 1.2x crop, or an extremely cropped 4K 120 frames per second mode for smooth slow motion. However, it appears to lack uncropped 4K 60p recording, which the Z7 II topped out at with a 2.3x crop, roughly 148mm equivalent on F-mount lenses. So while not perfect, video shooters gain added 4K flexibility. The Z7 III's in-body stabilization system is rumored to improve to 5.5 to 6 stops of shake reduction, up from 5 stops in the Z7 II. This is an extremely impressive upgrade that will pay major dividends for handheld shooting at slower shutter speeds and with longer lenses. Battery life should also see a nice boost thanks to the new EN EL15C battery, promising around 420 shots per charge with the LCD or 360 via the EVF, roughly 5 to 10% more than the Z7 II. If rumors prove true, the Z7 III will retain essentially the same solid, compact weather sealed body design, dual card slots, 3.2-inch articulating touchscreen, and control layout as its predecessor. However, it upgrades to the EN EL15C battery and features an improved 5.76 million dot quad VGA electronic viewfinder for clearer manual focus compared to the Z7 II's 3.69M dot panel. While not officially confirmed, the increased level of technology and features will likely drive up pricing. Positioned as a rival to the just-announced 61MP Canon EOS R5 Mark II, expectations are for the Z7 III body to cost between $3,200 to $3,500 when it arrives. In summary, the rumored Nikon Z7 III aims to be a powerful upgrade for high-resolution shooting, offering impressive improvements in areas like sensor resolution, burst rate, video features, stabilization, battery life, and viewfinder quality over its predecessor, while maintaining a familiar, compact, and durable professional-grade body design. In conclusion, share your thoughts on which of the rumored upcoming Nikon mirrorless cameras you are most looking forward to in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe to stay updated on more camera news and rumors. Thank you for watching.